Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching TCM as we continue our lineup of movies featuring memorable grandfathers. Up next, a 1983 comedy written by Neil Simon, starring Jason Robards and Marsha Mason, Max Dugan Returns. Robards plays the title character, an old man who abandoned his family decades earlier. He surprises his grown daughter when he suddenly shows up on her doorstep. He's got a few more surprises for her, too. One related to money, the other to life. And the money component has a catch, a big one. Marsha Mason has to navigate all this Michigas while raising her teenage son on her own as she attempts to start a relationship with a police officer who becomes increasingly suspicious of her father. In addition to Robards and Mason, the cast includes Donald Sutherland as the cop, with Matthew Broderick making his film debut as Mason's teenage son. Though Broderick was a movie newcomer, he was no stranger to working with Neil Simon. Simon had hand-picked Broderick to star on Broadway in two of his autobiographical plays, beginning with Brighton Beach Memoirs, which won Broderick a Tony Award, followed by Biloxi Blues, which was produced in 1985. Mason, Simon's wife at the time, had previously starred in four of his films, earning a Best Actress Oscar nomination for three of them, Goodbye Girl, Chapter Two, and Only When I Laugh. Max Dugan Returns marked their fifth and final big screen collaboration. It was also the last of the five movies that Simon made with director Herbert Ross. Their partnership began nearly a decade earlier with The Sunshine Boys from 1975. Max Dugan also features the film debut of Donald Sutherland's son, Kiefer, as well as an appearance from one of the greatest Major League Baseball hitting coaches of all time, Charlie Lau, who taught us all to stay firm and rigid as we shift our weight from the back to the front. Understand? He teaches Broderick how to hit in the movie. From 1983, Max Dugan returns. Jason Robards made Max Dugan returns during the third decade of his 40-year career in Hollywood. He came to the business from the theater in New York in the 1950s, where he quickly earned a reputation as a skilled interpreter of the works of playwright Eugene O'Neill, including The Iceman Cometh and Long Day's Journey into Night. To this day, Jason Robards still holds the record as the male actor with the most Tony Award nominations in Broadway history, eight Jason Robards made his big screen debut in 1959. In the mid-70s, he won back-to-back -back Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor, playing two real-life figures, Washington Post editor Ben Bradley and All the President's Men from 1976, then writer DeShiel Hammett in the 1977 drama Julia. In 1981, Robards was nominated again for playing another real-life character, Howard Hughes, in Jonathan Demme's film Melvin and Howard. Coming up. Freddie Bartholomew and C. Aubrey Smith play grandson and grandfather in a drama from MGM in 1936. Little Lord Fauntleroy is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, Little Lord Fauntleroy, then Father's Little Dividend, and later, 49th Parallel. Navigate your evening with TCM Tonight.